Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all good and welcome to the second part of our renovation property vlogs, whatever. If you haven't seen the first renovation vlog, then what's going on? Go and check that out. So it's been like a week since I was last here and yeah, I'm super excited to see the progress. Today I'm expecting to see like more plasterboard on the walls and things like that. I don't know if it's going to be like a drastic update, but let's just see let's just wait and see i'm just waiting for mom so that she can film you know how we do okay guys so i'm on the middle floor and we have had some drastic changes <laughs> well I, I mean drastic changes in terms of the layout and what we've planned to do so obviously a lot of you guys will know that this was originally going to be an 11 bed hmo and we've decided to drop it down to 10 which I'm actually really happy about because I wanted 10 but yeah I wanted 10 anyway because on the middle floor as you'll see the one room in the middle is a little bit small and we were walking around one day with our electrician and we were trying to work out like where a bathroom's gonna go where a bed's gonna go and all this and I suggested back then in August that we drop it down <laughs> no my mom's rolling her eyes because yeah <laughs> this has been a big a big debate so i suggested back then we knock through where the room's small and make two bigger bedrooms instead of having three cramped rooms and she was like no no the small rooms still do well and then when our builder came obviously our builder started now he was like why don't you just knock it through and then now you have to explain why you can't just be like <laughs> okay okay so he said that basically obviously it's a small room anyways i'll show you but then like when we do like the soundproofing and things like that it's gonna make the room a lot smaller than it already is so he was just like just knock it through and yeah i guess it's like one less bathroom and things like that and do you know what mom you you take it away <laughs> <laughs> so you're right in terms of the soundproofing so i think we were going to lose something like um 10 centimeters at least um on on two of the rooms so that's yeah. quite a big difference when the rooms are quite small anyway yeah um so yeah the soundproofing and then um and also the front of each room was going to have to be soundproofed so because of the, the internal hallway yeah. but then do you know what the other thing that he said was as well though because he obviously maintains some of our other properties he said you know, just based on how much stuff they have, the tenants have, they just they just really need the space. Yeah. And I think he's absolutely right. And I obviously agree. Yeah. Um, and we've regretted some of our decisions where we've maybe put in an extra room on some of them and, and you know, had to sort of forego communal space. So I think this was absolutely the right decision. Yay! <laughs> Did you hear that, guys? You heard it here first. Just to let you know, yeah, you know. I'm expecting a pay rise after this project, just then. <laughs> and so anyway, yeah, I'm actually really happy because that whole like cramping people and squashing people into rooms, that, that's not our vibe. Um, and yeah, I'm just really happy that the tenants are gonna have like really, really good sized room. Anyway, so this is one of the rooms on the middle floor. So this room is actually gonna be like extended now, I guess. Um, behind me on this wall, I've probably said this before, I think I did say this in the last vlog. I already said in the last vlog that they're gonna have their bathroom there and they're gonna have like a door that goes into their bathroom. This is the wall that's gonna now come down and they're gonna have some extra space. Okay, so I just wanted to record this bit on my phone because the phone has like the wide angle lens, um, but I don't have a wide angle lens for my camera. <laughs> um, but I thought you could see it a bit better like this. So this is obviously how the room looks currently. And then the extension is basically gonna be like that so it's gonna be a lot bigger obviously it's worked really well as well because of where the window is so it's just easy to be like the walls go in there and then can just go down so the room that we're in before the room that's now gonna be a lot bigger before that was like ten and a half meters squared but the problem is it was like long and narrow um, but now it's gonna be 50 meters squared and yeah 15 not 50 <laughs> I was like, did I pronounce it properly? <laughs> anyway, um, and then this is the other bedroom. 
that is now getting an upgrade. Yeah, so this is the other room, which is now gonna be a lot bigger. Again, they're quite long, but quite narrow. Um, and this room is gonna end up with two windows. This room is getting like a little bit more extra space compared to the other one. So, that's the other room. And then it's gonna go. all the way to there. So it's gonna be like that much extra kind of thing. Okay, so I'm on the top floor now and there is just like a lot more plasterboarding going on. In the end, a lot of the ceilings did have to come down, um, as I mentioned in my last vlog. So like more of them had to come down. But yeah, there is a lot of plasterboarding, which is so crazy. So this here is actually the insulated plasterboard which goes on the outside walls because these are a lot thicker and obviously, well, yeah, better to insulate as the name suggests. And then this room, again, they've started plasterboarding. I feel like this one's a little bit behind. So this room is fully plasterboarded, apart from in the ensuite, they still need to dry line that. And then again, this room, this is now it used to be bedroom number 11, but now it's bedroom number 10. This is the best room in the house. And yeah, this is pretty much all plasterboarded apart from over there, so. Guys, I wasn't even gonna film today. The wall is gone. <laughs> I actually can't believe it. It's a nice big space though, isn't it? It's beautiful. Beautiful. Uh, so next they'll knock down this part. So probably by the time I come on Friday for my proper, you know, update video, this will probably be gone. But I'm happy. <laughs> yeah. Hello guys. So again, another week of big changes. So this room, so I'm on the, the top floor at the minute. This room that I'm in is actually done. <laughs> as in like, it's ready to be plastered. So as you can see here, we have, this is basically what's gonna be the wardrobe. And um, yeah, so this room is actually ready to be plastered and ready to go, which, what the hell? What the hell is gonna be plastered? Like, I actually can't believe it. So yeah, things are just going. So, so well. So you can see here, we've got this like acoustic plasterboard, which has got some like wool in between the wall. And honestly, like when we close the doors and things like that, it does make such a difference. Like you can just hear it already. And I just love it here. So I'm in the bedroom next door. This one is a little bit further behind. Obviously you can see they've like built the ensuite and started plasterboarding that, but then still got a plasterboard walls. The ceilings plasterboard did <laughs> and yeah. But we have made quite an important decision in this room. So as you can see, there is basically this white door here and that basically used to be used like way back in the day as a fire exit. and. When building control came round, they didn't really say anything, like they didn't advise anything and we were like, what the hell? So we called um, the West Midlands Fire Service and we were basically like, what do we do? And they were like, you've got to like, you can't use it as a fire exit basically. So our options were to brick it up, but then to do that, we would have had to get scaffolding and everything like that. Um, obviously we could have just left the door and just locked it and then took the key. But we were like, we don't want to just leave this ugly door here. And it's ugly from the outside as well. So we decided what we we're going to do is actually put like a little, I don't want to say balcony, because it's not a balcony that they can step on. It's basically going to be like a Juliet balcony. So it's going to have nice doors that are in like keeping with the style of the property. And they'll be able to open them up, but they won't be able to walk out because we're going to put like a railing out there. So yeah, but I'll, I'll open the door. Oh, my God, my phone. I'll open the door and then you can see what it kind of looks like at the minute. So this is it. So the railing will be like right here so they can't like obviously step out because we, we're not going to have the regulations to do that. Um, but yeah, I still think it's quite nice that they can just open their door and like look at the view and things like that and yeah. 
update. I don't know if you can even see me, but they've put the floorboard down where the bathrooms are. So yeah. Okay, into the next room. This is bedroom number nine. Um, so yeah, this one's come along as well, really nicely. This one, I guess, is nearly done as well. So as you can see, we've got the ensuite here. And then behind you guys is where the wardrobe is going to be. So we've like built stud walls for that. And yeah, it's looking good. Okay, so here I am in bedroom number 10. I feel like this one is going to be the best bedroom. And as you can see on the wall, we've got some acoustic wool. So basically we're putting that like on all of the walls in between the plasterboard. Uh, just to make it obviously soundproof and even like coming in here today we've got the door shut you can just tell that the rooms are a lot more soundproof and they're feeling a lot more snug kind of thing so obviously you can see the plasterboard is here and then behind that there'll be some of the wool so it kind of just all like fits together really snug and then we're going to do the same on the floorboards as well so that it's like totally soundproof like wall to wall and floor to floor it's basically the same setup like that we did in the old office and obviously at the old office it passed the soundproofing test and yeah all of the rooms are really soundproof so we love that but also you'll remember me saying in this video <laughs> that downstairs where I said about having to like knock the wall through it was because now that we've put like you know all of the plasterboard and all of the wool kind of on the wall it's like you know it's made the room a lot smaller well not a lot smaller but it has made the room a little bit smaller so for the rooms that were already small it was going to like take up too much space if that makes sense so yeah that's where we are basically guys so they've officially knocked the walls down and it's just a whole open space at the minute and there's just so much space everywhere and I actually can't believe it like now I'm like in the space I'm like wow this is actually huge um, but we were saying that like this is how the original like layout would have been before it was obviously turned into an office and um, there's just so much space everywhere and I'm just so happy because I can just tell the rooms are going to be they're going to look good you know because there is just so much more space now and yeah <laughs> I think this maybe is going to be the best bedroom oh do you know why I think that? Because for one, it's going to be the biggest. Yeah. And it's and it doesn't have to have its ensuite in the room because of the door there. So this is going to be a pucker, pucker room. Pucker. This <laughs> honestly, this is going to be the best room. So what what number room is this? Five. Five. So mom thinks that number five is going to be the best room. Uh, I mean, we'll see. Is, right we'll is that right? Maybe I'm. I don't know. I think. I can't remember where the divider's gonna go. It's, I think this room is getting okay, one window. Yeah. I still think, yeah, I think this is gonna be the best one. I might be wrong. <laughs> I guess his bedroom, bedroom 11's got their bedroom off the. Yeah. Yeah, so I guess, no, bedroom number 10 now. So I guess that lets it down a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, this one will be nice, I think. Because it's going to be a big room, but it's still have an ensuite. Imagine if this was just one room. I know, it'd be amazing. That'd be like an apartment. It'd be like a studio flat. Like a studio. Yeah. Do you remember when I lived in um, Harbour? This is actually the size of my flat. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah, I think this is bigger than your flat. <laughs> I can't say it's bigger. Yeah, guys, when I first moved to like Birmingham properly and I moved out of student accommodation, I lived in this like little flat and it was literally, you couldn't swing a cat in it. Like, it was so tiny, but it was actually smaller than this like whole space here. <laughs> like, yeah, it was mad. I had like a little single bed like squashed up on the wall, like tiny little living room, tiny little kitchen. And, like, I think it was actually half the size of this like space. I'm not even exaggerating. Um, yeah. Hello, so I'm currently at B&Q and I'm about to pick up some tiles. So we saw these tiles online this morning. They're like grey tiles for the bathrooms and yeah, we just wanted to have a look at them, make sure they were nice. I really wanted to get the same tiles that we used in the bungalow. I'll insert a little picture, but because we're obviously kitting out 10, let me turn my wipers off, hang on. <laughs> Yeah, because we're kitting out 10 bathrooms this time, those tiles are a little bit pricey. So we're just going to have a look at these ones just to make sure that they're suitable. And yeah, 
usually I do these like you know pick up click and collect trips but I never vlog them because I'll be picking up like dry things like screws but I thought since these are the bathroom tiles you guys can have a look and yeah let's go I hope they're not heavy man <laughs> Where are the tiles? Okay, so I'm really impressed with the tiles. Like, when I saw them, I was like, you know what, these are good. But yeah, I'm just actually on site now. I think mom's brought everyone samosas, which I'm so glad, because it's literally one o'clock, and why have I not had breakfast? Um, I'm a mess, but yeah. Bigger box is the veg. Okay, so that's the bigger bag is veg, yeah. I'm having a lamb. Okay. These samosas are incredible. <laughs> oh, these are nice, aren't they? Yeah, they're nice. I approve. Good. Oh my gosh! I told you. Oh my god. I'm gonna have to get. <laughs> One <there>. She's weak. <laughs> Guys, I'm on the top floor. How has the room been plastered? Like, I'm actually shocked. I didn't record last week because there wasn't that much um, difference. Sorry if it's really echoey as well. Um, but yeah, I didn't record last week because I was like, this isn't even any different. And, like, I wanted to give you guys a good update and it's been plastered, guys. Oh, it's so crazy because I'm like, plastering, then painting, do you know what I mean? So I'm like, it's just coming together and I actually can't believe it. I'm shocked. I am so shocked. So this whole room's been plastered. The plaster's like, just like, still drying. You can see like there's literally like condensation on the window because like, the plaster's drying, but yeah, crazy. <laughs> Mom's smiling as well behind the camera. <laughs> okay, come on then. So obviously in this video, you'll remember that I was talking about having to replace what used to be the fire exit and what used to basically be a white door. And we've replaced it with like a Georgian style door. And you can't really see it at the minute because it's got like cloth like in the door um but it does look so so good and it looks really really good from the outside as well and yeah we're just really really happy with that as a decision and we're just so excited guys we're really excited okay so literally forgot to mention we actually have shower trays down okay so i'm in bedroom number nine and two walls have been plastered in here so it's all coming along together nicely so it's been about two days worth of plastering and yeah excited this is bedroom number 10 nothing's changed but we have ordered the toilets so yeah let's move on to the middle floor where we've had the major layout change <laughs> Okay, so it's actually freezing in here, but I'm in bedroom number five. I feel like we have to call this the new and improved bedroom number five. So the stud work for their ensuite is up. Like this will basically be like their doorway into the ensuite. And then this wall is the new wall. Guys, we have the new wall. Well, the stud work for the new wall. Clearly this is not a wall. Um, but yeah, guys, honestly, the space in here is so, so nice. And yeah, I'm just so happy with like the decision. And yeah, what do you think of the space, Mom? A lot better. Yeah. It's a lot better. You were right. Thanks. And then this is bedroom number six. Again, so spacious. These rooms are gonna be nice. They're gonna be really good, so. Yeah, excited. Guys, that is it for renovation update number two. A lot is gonna be changing, you know, in renovation number three, obviously. The Tyler is starting this week. Bring on renovation vlog number three. <laughs> so here we are. Careful on the wire. I, could, I felt it when my foot went under it. <laughs> can you watch? <laughs> Sorry, we can hear movement and I'm scared. There's the wind. It's the wind? Yeah. I thought it was Ryan. Ryan's <laughs> not here. <coughs> Something just fell off the face of the face. You can put that in the outtakes. <laughs> 